Every small city has a hidden gem. We always got good deals. One of them in David City is Renee Kush's antique store. I've been here 10 plus years. But after being a staple in this farming community for more than a decade, time seemed to be running out. If anything, I would have closed. Different construction projects to nearby roads took three years to finish, which forced customers to take their business elsewhere. The businesses, I think we've kind of lost that will to live, you know, will to survive as a business. But while Renee just considered closing, other businesses did just that. The parent company has uh, announced that they are going to move the jobs uh, to Mexico and they will close. A for sale sign looms just as large as the Fargo assembly factory that employed many local people. It's 187 jobs. About 30% of the workforce is from David City. David City experienced loss in another way too. Key figures who were behind Christmas traditions passed away, seemingly taking those events with them. We haven't had um, uh, any tr Christmas traditions. Uh, we did years ago, um, but it started to fade away. But something else started to fade away too, and it's what small cities are known for, camaraderie. The town was very divided. We were very depressed. Kelsey Keeling of the Butler County Chamber of Commerce witnessed it all, especially after sending the release about the factory closing. But then something good came out of it. Little did I know that Hallmark Channel was would actually read that. Christmas presents come in many different forms. Some you have to unwrap, but others don't come in a box at all. And that's the type of gift David City received. I love this one. Hallmark, whose founder Joyce C. Hall is from David City. Born in 1891 and then lived here till 1902. Came and decorated the downtown streets after hearing about the long roads of bad luck. It's really created a, a boost that our community needed. Many stores also decorated early as Hallmark spiced up the city like never before. 16 feet. I'm short. <laughs> then slowly, things started to change. Christmas festivals started coming back. Perhaps that his shoes were too tight. The downtown streets were once again full with people. And after word spread about Hallmark's makeover, Many traveled from all across the nation to see it, which helped business owners like Renee. It increased business a hundredfold. I mean, it was like I never had hardly anybody come in, but now people from all over the United States have heard about it. People have come in. I mean, we're busy. But maybe most important. Hi, Keith. The excitement of everything happening lifted everyone's spirits. The timing was perfect in a typical Hallmark <laughs> movie. You could just feel the a spark. Now heading into 2020, many are optimistic for what the future holds for David City. That just a few months prior was more of a curse than a gift. We had a flood earlier this year. It's been kind of a, a tumultuous year, so to say, but it's really ended on a, on a positive note for David City. And if you're interested in stopping by and checking out the decorations, they're expected to remain up until mid-January.